and Silvio, and this is part 10 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. From day one, when you start once again a new amazing adventure, to last day when you finally play Silver Bells and White Christmas and switch on all your RC adapters, simply letting everything and everyone come alive, you will never stop fixing, adapting, adjusting, fitting or tuning. Let's have a quick flashback. It's around the last Sunday of June and you woke up firmly convinced to get your wood planks, your styrofoam panels, start your new Christmas village and by the end of the day to have all your left side of the layout completely done with buildings, uh, trees, roads, uh, street lamps, uh, figurines, attractions and snow. Pure and simple madness or more probably just a bad dream due to what you ate the night before. For some long days, eventually even weeks, you will constantly work on something temporary, non-stop changing. But at some point, for your own mental health, you need to talk to your inner itself and convince him or her, obviously, that it's time to have some landmarks that will be immutable from that moment on and that you need to fix once and forever. Those landmarks will be the only comfort you will get when, sooner or later, you will start to feel the compulsion to give up. You can't avoid it when facing such a long task. So, for the first time, I will use this paper and other things to help me create some landmarks. And the landmarks will be. Uh, this time I've anticipated some of the work in order to explain it uh, better. So I will start by uh, detailing what I've already uh, done for this uh, uh, session. Uh, let me start by this stair. Um, last, some time ago you have seen me uh, building it and uh, applying on top and on the side of the stair the same uh, printed paper, some uh, cobblestone road. Uh, but I've decided that the side must have a different uh, texture. So I found online a new texture for uh, the wall side. I printed it and I've uh, glued it on top of the previous one. Now the side and the top have different uh, textures and this one has uh, shades of grey, black, uh, white and I think it will be well suitable for all the walls I need to uh, simulate. Why do I need uh, to simulate uh, walls and not just uh, carve into uh, styrofoam and then paint it uh, as you have seen me doing? Simply because most of the work has been done using uh, uh, expanded styrofoam that is uh, much uh, cheaper than extruded styrofoam and uh, unfortunately uh, expanded styrofoam isn't uh, well suited for uh, carving and uh, um, uh, painting it, uh, detailing precisely uh, every element. Uh, let me show you an example. This is a little pillar I've made uh, for last year uh, Christmas Village uh, using uh, um, expanded styrofoam and uh, it's, th the result is not uh, quite uh, well uh, uh, done. Uh, anyway, it was a uh, quick uh, a way to make a little pillar and on the contrary if you use uh, extruded styrofoam like in this case uh, carving into it and painting it can uh, give you a much better result uh, as you can uh, see uh, anyway uh, this is the uh, texture I will use uh, on my uh, village this year to simulate uh, walls if you are curious how I print it, simply I just use uh, paper uh, on my printer and I print it. This is an example for the cobblestone road texture and this is the example for the um, wall uh, pattern. Uh, I don't use uh, a normal paper, this is normal paper 
it has a weight of uh, generally it has a weight uh, around 80 grams per square meter but I use uh, this other paper it has a, a weight of 200 grams per square meter and it is well suited much more uh, white different with the standard paper it is uh, much more white and uh, well adapted for high quality printing so I use this paper just uh, to let you know uh, let's go ahead uh, let me just uh, place it where it should be placed right there uh, other things I've already anticipated let me uh, show you I've already completed this side. I've printed some uh, walls pattern like this one. Then I've just uh, applied it uh, all along the profile of the wall. I hope you can see it here in the background. And now I just need to do the same thing with the support uh, section for the stairs and I will show you in just a few moments. Then I just made a little arc because I wasn't satisfied with the profile uh, this opening had. So I printed some on paper. I firstly, <laughs> obviously I firstly uh, drew it on my computer. Uh, then I've printed uh, it, then I've used it to, um, to uh, get the same result on styrofoam. Uh, this is a first uh, example. It's not well suited because it is uh, too uh, large. Um, but the final result is uh, this one. You can see it here. I've glued it already it, uh, onto the wall and um, I've painted it as generally do, uh, starting from uh, darker shades uh, up to uh, lighter shades. Uh, quickly done, around uh, 20 to 30 minutes uh, to get uh, an arc. Starting from uh, um, drawing the uh, profile, then cutting all the profiles and then carve into it uh, all around the sections of the uh, arc. Uh, a, quick, uh, a quick way to uh, add an arc to your uh, model. And this is what I've already uh, done. Then I've also paint, printed a little uh, cobblestone road uh, there. Easy, simple. Uh, let me just show you how to do it, even if, if it is so easy. Uh, let's go ahead with uh, uh, finishing um, this uh, uh, section here and then I will uh, talk about next section.
Okay, this is, I think, uh, uh, the final result uh, as for the moment uh, for uh, this uh, section of stair here. Uh, obviously, I need to wait uh, for the glue to dry a little bit, then I will uh, cut uh, all the paper that is overlapping from certain points. Just remember that uh, these uh, incongruity between uh, those two uh, sections of uh, printed paper will not be visible once the village is done because I will use plenty of snow and so only a uh, little portion of uh, the uh, cobblestone roads will be uh, visible. Uh, also, the, the junction here will be masked by some uh, vegetation and other things. But this is uh, a first uh, stage of the uh, uh, landmark I was talking about. Uh, from the distance, uh, here is the result from the distance. Uh, with this new texture, you can absolutely do the difference between uh, the wall and the uh, cobblestone road. Uh, very simple, very easy. I just anticipated all the printing and all the cuttings uh, because it would have been so tedious to show you also uh, how I cut the paper. Uh, next uh, session. Next section, sorry. Uh, next section. Uh, next session will be the uh, uh, stairs from uh, the right side here. Let me just show you what I've already anticipated. I've uh, printed out uh, another two pieces of uh, wall here and also uh, this little uh, piece of uh, extruded styrofoam carved and painted and a bigger one here. Always the same technique, I've uh, cut out uh, the styrofoam, the extruded styrofoam piece, then I've uh, carved into it, then I painted it uh, dark uh, grey and black, then uh, lighter uh, grey, uh, tan, uh, sienna, and uh, finally uh, white dry uh, brush. This time I haven't used any uh, black wash, because it is already uh, enough uh, dirty, the surface is already enough dirty. And I've also added the last step here that was missing until uh, last time. Let me just remove the stairs here. Uh, I also added this piece, this little uh, four millimeter piece uh, of uh, uh, extruded styrofoam because I needed to level uh, the stair here, the stair with the profile from the big piece of styrofoam. Uh, okay, uh, and I've also added a little uh, stone printing here, a little wall stone printing here. Um, why I needed to level it? Because I needed to apply this wall from the outside. Just remember what I've told you. It is uh, uh, not uh, expanded styrofoam like this uh, case. It's not uh, suitable for uh, carving and then uh, painting. You not is, in reality it is suited, but you can't get a decent uh, result. So let's go ahead with uh, the uh, this uh, stair here. I will uh, first glue this uh, little piece of paper. You keep saying you love me, my be that's just the case. But then I come, I look around, but you there's not a trace. It ain't enough for me to spend my time in care. If you're just gonna love me, I'm way back over there. So step it up, step it up, step it up Baby, I'll be gone You keep saying you want me Well, push has come to show It's way past time and overdue To show what you're made of It's nowhere near enough And I won't hold my breath But if you're comfortable for me I'm yours in life and death So step it up Step it up, step it up, baby, you'll be gone.
Okay, I'm sorry for my fingers, but this happens when you use uh, uh, cotton soaked with uh, glue. I've used those uh, final steps to just fill up the gaps uh, between uh, the different pieces of styrofoam using oh, <laughs> this uh, technique I've already shown you before, I think. Yes, I've already used it, I don't remember in what case, but I'm sure I've already shown you it. Um, as, <laughs> as I said before, I'm aging and uh, this is, uh, if you prefer, I'm getting old. Um, okay, this will be uh, the final step for uh, this section. Uh, maybe I will just place uh, here the camera from fixed position in order to get you a better look uh, to this, uh, uh, this part of the layout. I just need to wait uh, for the glue to dry a little bit then I will refine the profiles if needed. Those little caps, uh, gaps in here, I will not fill them because here I will use some uh, snow on the border so every little uh, gap uh, will be um, hidden by uh, the snow. It, but uh, <laughs> the snow will be the very last step of the creation of the village. Many, many, many days ahead. was just a case Now you're here by my side Fighting up my days Was never enough for me To spend my time in care But you are just gonna love me Way back over there You did stand up Stand up Stand up Show it Stand up Stand up Stand up Show For next step, I will finally use this paper, the paper rock as I named it a few uh, videos ago. Uh, and by the way, I remember where I've used the technique of the uh, cotton socket with glue. I've used it to secure the uh, crystal vinyl uh, tube to the waterfall source at the very beginning of this series. Certainly I will not print uh, uh, wall patterns for all the vertical walls I have in my uh, village. It is supposed to be a village located near a mountain or uh, even a mountain village. And where uh, I can I will certainly use massively this uh, paper because it will uh, simulate quite well uh, the rocks and rocks are common to every a mountain. Uh, generally I use uh, this paper as much as I can and I reserve the wall pattern uh, printed paper only for the section where it is uh, clear that it has been uh, built or created by uh, someone, by man, and the paper wherever uh, the space has been taken from nature. quick uh, preview. Um, with this paper uh, you will absolutely eliminate every squared corner in your uh, layout. All the squared surfaces will uh, disappear. In this case uh, I want to simulate uh, a tunnel uh, gallery uh, digged into the uh, mountain and here you get a quite first impression of the result. Every uh, corner will disappear, uh, creating some uh, some real effect 
some real uh, digged effect. And from the distance, I will try to show you from the distance, even if it's not uh, quite uh, visible. Uh, just a preliminary uh, preview, sorry, uh, and let me uh, go on, then I will try to show you a more detailed um, view uh, using maybe the fixed uh, camera. Now, you know, 
I will use the paper rock. Um, nothing is closed as it should be because I still need uh, to make uh, some little adjustments in future, but those landmarks uh, will be fixed for now on. Especially here, I left some extra paper because uh, I can't close with the top section as I still need to do the ballast on the tracks. But now, at least, you can finally get how useful it is to have this paper on hand when doing. Uh, a Christmas village and that the overall aspect will improve each time I add one more section of uh, paper rock and here I think I will close it some way uh, right there to have a perfect uh, gallery not now at least um, let me just check how long it is this video to see if I can get uh, one or two more section uh, done. At least this time I've checked the footage at the right moment. It may sound crazy or naive, but each time I'm at a point where I can hide some white spot uh, with uh, paper or anything else, I gloat, knowing that I'm one step closer to my goal. The only white you should see on a Christmas village layout is snow, and until that moment, all the remaining white, for me, is pure emptiness. I know I'm insane, but at least I am aware and proud of it. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.